Hi everyone. I'm back again with my little Kari. And he is purring. And what I'm going to read today, I wrote in September 1980. She's looking for the end to spider season. I've been caught out in the yard lately, waving my arms frantically over my head. No, I'm not sending the neighbors a distress signal, though they keep rushing over to see what's the matter. And I'm not offering an airplane landing instructions for our front yard. There are far too many trees for a safe approach. My arm maneuvers are aimed at a very small target. Their wild thrashings are solely for the benefit of neighborhood spiders. Fall has its different hunting seasons, duck, deer, goose. For me, it's the little eight-legged creatures. I stalk them daily, or do they stalk me? I haven't quite got that straight yet. Cool weather brings out all shapes and sizes of spiders. They spin and stretch their webs all night long, getting ready to catch their prey. I only wish I wasn't one of their intended victims. Webs are everywhere. They go from tree to tree, from barn to tractor, from cow to cow. I can't walk 10 feet without feeling a creepy web come across my face. Oh, yuck. It's not that I dislike the feeling of webs. They don't sting, hurt, or harm me physically in any way. But when I happen to blunder into one of those intricate fly traps, I start to wonder, where's the spider? I don't know if the web was vacant or occupied at the time I disturbed it. For all I know, the spider could have abandoned the web now, uh, the web I now wear days ago. Or he could be hanging on it at this very second, trying to figure out what monster destroyed its world and how to get even with me. In that case, I want to get that darn thing off of me fast. To dislodge a spider, I'd do just about anything. I'd jump up and down and swing my arms wildly. I'd even stand on my head if that would help. Meanwhile, every inch of my skin is covered with goosebumps. To avoid accidentally meeting the little fellows, I walk gingerly across the yard and through the barns. My hands are forever outstretched in front of me to ward them off, and if possible, I find someone tall to walk ahead of me to clear the way. I thought about using our young children as, as spider deflectors, but they're just too short at this time. I'm sure looking forward to the end of spider season. My arms are just getting tired. And we are just starting spider season. And I have found them already stretching from tree to tree. I hope you have a good day and I hope you don't get in any spider webs. Until next time.